we have lots of pop-ups coming up tonight I need to just close all of these goodness okay so here we are we're live already good evening beautiful people of the you create the dream page and welcome to awake in the dream this is our fortnightly call excuse the beeps that is mary jane we have just realized that in the post that went out earlier it said that the call was on at 8 p.m so apologies for that we've actually just caught that thank you very much marina for pointing that out but um, this is what the beeps are hello beautiful lily hello marina how are you beautiful ladies <clears throat> so thank you so much marina for pointing that out we have so much on our plate at the moment and the post that went out earlier did say that awake in the dream um, was at 8 p.m so awake in the dream is always at 7 p.m that's every fortnight because straight after this call i go live at 8 p.m in the power of you and then i have a 10 o'clock coaching client big night for me how are you ladies <clears throat> to everybody that joins us, please do remember to say hi as you come on. I would, of course, love to acknowledge your beautiful presence. Okay, so it's interesting because what I want to talk about tonight, what I feel is really important for everybody here tonight, is actually also something that I will be touching on and delving into in our module in the Power of You program. <clears throat> excited booked you booked your motel fabulous marina i'm super super excited to be spending the reiki weekend with you okay so what i want to do is i want to have a conversation about the sacred union between the heart and the brain now i'm constantly trying to find new ways in which to express this to you to have it really land because whatever it is that you desire whether it's you whether you want to manifest whether you want to heal whether you want to become more intuitive, whether you want to be able to embody more power, more energy, you know, whatever it is, is going to take alignment. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, um, it all starts with alignment. So tonight's conversation is about, is about the sacred union between the head and the heart. Hello, beautiful Valerie. How are you? So um, in the Western world, we're often taught that the brain is the master organ, right? That this is the be all and end all in, um, and end all. In our very male dominated world, excuse me, <coughs> in our very male dominated world, um, we've been told that this is the most important thing, right? You know, like focus, focus, listen, you know, um, um, listen to your head, basically, you follow that at all times. But here's the thing. In the indigenous teachings, the heart is actually the most revered organ. It's all about the heart. So the truth is both are powerful, but both are incomplete on their own. We have to master our mind and master our heart. We have to master our mind and master our feelings. So we know that our heart and our brain are interconnected in really profound ways. And science is discovering this more and more. Our heart is not just a pump. It's not a pump just you know to pump blood around the body, but it has the ability to think. They actually call it the little brain and I'm actually starting to think with all the research that I do that maybe it is the most powerful brain. <clears throat> However, um, it has the ability to think it has the ability to remember and it has the ability to feel all on its own, all on its own. The brain doesn't feel on its own. The heart does. The thoughts, feelings, emotions and beliefs that we create in our heart are literally the instructions that guide our brain. It's telling our brain what to do. It's telling our brain to release certain chemistry, the chemistry that we need to rejuvenate, to heal. But it receives instruction from our heart on what to do, right? So the heart is sending the information, the brain is downloading. So as we awaken to this truth, as we begin to remember how powerful we are and the truth of, um, you know, with, with the fact that we need to be in alignment. It changes absolutely everything. Connection 
like for us to come back into wholeness is so extremely important. This is a sacred union, a sacred marriage, a union of the two organs that support the common neural network within us. And this conversation between the heart and the brain is happening in each and every moment, whether you are awake or whether you are asleep. Most of the conversation is coming from our heart to the brain, not the other way around. That's where the thickest nerve bundle is. It's where the thickest nerve bundle to support that conversation is. It's literally housed right there in your heart center. So the heart has a lot to say to the brain, but how often do you listen to your heart? Most of us listen to this. Most of us listen to the subconscious limiting beliefs, the BS, the storytelling and all the things that go on here. For those who have done my online programs with me, for those that do all, all other work with me, you'll know I'm constantly saying, put your hand on your heart. And in fact, we're going to do a quick meditation and have this is going to be partially experiential um, in this particular call because it's easy to bring our awareness to our heart center. So our heart has a lot to say to the brain and the quality of the conversation tells the brain what chemistry to release, right? So when we feel negative emotions such as anger, such as rage, such as um, jealousy, the signal from the heart is quite chaotic, right? It's sending a chaotic signal to the brain. It's a very jagged um, pulse that it's giving us. So what that's going to do is it's going to result in the release of stress hormones such as adrenaline. So, um, good morning, Gail. Uh, sorry, good morning. <laughs> good evening, Gail. How are you? Um, <clears throat> so um, it's releasing things like adrenaline and cortisol, the stress hormone. However, we have the power to shift this. We have the power to shift the conversations. We have the power to bring ourselves back into our center, to bring ourselves back into a sense of peace and calm. So when we feel coherence in the heart, or between the head and heart, we change everything. And the feeling of coherence, it literally has the exact opposite effect, right? It harmonizes our heart and brain, which opens the door to endless possibilities. Indigenous traditions have lots of different techniques that they use to achieve this. And what I'm going to do with you is share two extraordinarily simple tools because everything I do is very, very simple. We as humans overcomplicate things, right? We make our, bigger, uh, our, big, our problems bigger than, than Ben-Hur. Clearly I'm thinking too quickly. Um, we make our problems you know, big and then we believe we need a big solution. But the fact is, no matter what it is, you bring it down to its simplest form, simple problem, simple solution. It's all simple, but we as humans have overcomplicated so much. So, a hand on your heart. This is your heart center, right? By placing your hand on your heart center, it brings the awareness out of your head and into your heart. So you'll notice in most of the meditations that I share for those in the online programs, we always have our hand on our heart. And that's what I'll be asking you to do shortly when I do a process with you. But I also want you to start to look at ancient um, statues, statues, um, carvings, all of these things. And you'll notice that even when they might do certain mudras, right, but their hands are against their chest. When we put, we, when we put our hands in position of prayer, the hands in position of prayer aren't out there in front of us, they're here. We bring our hands to our chest and the moment you place a few fingers or your hand on your heart center, you bring awareness out of your mind and into your heart. They've been telling us all along that the power is in the heart. The problem is when science came along, it threw out the baby with the bathwater, it threw out the ancient wisdoms and, and said, this is it. Now we start with this, that, you know, we need these facts. Hello, beautiful Krista. How are you? But we're coming back to the truth about how powerful we are. We are coming back to the truth that our heart center is extremely sacred and the, the importance of a divine coherent union between the head and the heart. So you only need to look at the statues. You only need to look at ancient carvings, the scriptures. They all tell us that the power is in our heart center. And this is why in meditations, I'll ask you to put your hand on your heart. This is why when I ask you to question everything that's going on, I tell you to put your hand on your heart center. 
because it's going to get rid of the, it's going to move you away from the noise here and bring you down into your heart it makes the whispers of the heart so much louder so another simple technique that you can use any time to achieve um, heart and brain coherence is to literally focus on the center of your chest area so again you can do it by simply just placing your awareness there or placing a couple of fingers or your hand or even placing your hands in the position of prayer but this time you're going to actually include breath and to start with I do I, mean, I do recommend bringing your hands here because there's something really sacred about that whether it's one palm hands in the position of prayer there's something really sacred about that which instantly with well, practice with practice but it starts to bring you into um, stillness <clears throat> So um, what you would do is you would focus on your heart center and you would breathe. Actually, just do it now whilst I talk you through it. And then we're going to do a process. Right? Well, you would breathe very slowly and deeply. But you imagine that you're breathing through the heart center. Imagine that you're breathing in and out through the heart. As you breathe in, I want you to imagine that you're drawing this amazing, positive, healing, loving energy. You're breathing that in. And as you exhale, releasing the stress, releasing the tension, releasing the negativity, releasing the low vibration energy. Nice, slow, rhythmic breathing. It could be in for five, out for five, or in for seven, out for seven. There's no need to hold it, but nice circular breathing, and that will bring you into coherence within four breaths. It brings you into a state of peace, a state of calm in just four breaths. So now as you continue to breathe in and out of your heart center, Breathing in the new, all that you need, all that beautiful, loving, healing energy and exhaling the old. As you continue doing that, if you start now to introduce feelings of gratitude, feelings of appreciation, feelings of compassion, then you multiply that tenfold. So whilst you do that breath, I want you to begin to think of someone or something that you're grateful for. Allow that feeling to fill your heart. And just find yourself really coming into presence. Feel the warmth and the expansion of your chest. And just simply continue to hold those feelings. And you may begin to notice a shift in your body, in your mind. And as you practice this, you'll very quickly begin to notice a big shift in your life as well. You'll find yourself feeling a whole lot more centered, a whole lot more calm, a whole lot more at peace. And this is the feeling of coherence. When emotion is high, intelligence is low. So when our emotion is high, when we're stressed, when we're overwhelmed, we don't think very clearly. We're not grounded. This simple technique will have you feeling grounded, calm and peaceful. And it's in this space of coherence that is the doorway to all of your potentials because you cannot be in a state of stress and also have your foot on the other side of the door of possibilities and potentials. You cannot do that. You cannot be a victim and a conscious co-creator at the same time. It's just not possible. You are one or the other. You can absolutely flip. You can be down and out and, you know, what have you, completely negative in one moment and then positive in the next, 100%. But you cannot be both at the same time. So you get to make a decision. And something as simple as breathing in and out from your heart space and the power of breath, having your awareness on your heart center brings you back into that state very, very easily. And with all that's going on, with all the chaos, with all the difficulties that 
surround most people right now, coming back into a state of peace and calm is going to be the easiest way to lead yourself through it. Rather than being influenced by what goes on outside of you, you can lead yourself through because the only way is through. This is the gateway to your subconscious. Because in the stillness, you actually hear the truth. You actually hear what's really going on. In the stillness, you allow your intuition to drop. You allow the downloads to come through far more easily. You access healing potential and so, so much more. So I want you to imagine, I mean, feel this feeling that you're feeling right now. And I want you to imagine how it would positive, positively impact your life if you started every morning like this. Imagine starting each day with this practice, setting the tone for the day because you're filling it with love, with gratitude, with appreciation, with abundance. And then imagine ending your day with this practice. It's just a few breaths. You might choose to do it for five minutes or maybe even more, but simply just a few breaths is enough to bring you back into this beautiful calm state. And the more you practice it, the more you'll find yourself embodying it. And everything I do is about teaching you to embody the work. But everything, you know, it's about the more you practice, it, the more you will embody it so that it will become you 24 seven. So that you naturally become a, breath, a better breather, where you breathe deeply, where you receive the gift of life, you receive the breath and the gift of life, where you are naturally tapped into and connected to your heart center able to hear the intuition, the guidance, able to see things more clearly, able to see the path ahead with more clarity. So imagine using this technique when you first wake up in the morning, when you before you go to sleep at night. Imagine doing a few simple breaths before your meditations, before a yoga practice, a healing practice of any sorts. Hello, beautiful Rencha, how are you? Imagine doing that. It brings you back into your beingness. And you'll know that I'm often saying we need to check in on who we are being in the doing. It brings you back into the beingness, the clarity of mind at absolute speed. It enhances your experience. It deepens your connection to all that is. And in this space, you cannot feel stressed. You cannot feel overwhelmed. You cannot feel like the world is against you. Instead, you feel the exact opposite. You feel calm, you feel peace, you feel connection, you feel source, you feel your spirit team. Everything gets better with heart and brain coherence. So let's embrace this sacred union. Let's celebrate the fact that we can achieve it so extraordinarily easily. Honour your heart for the powerful organ that it is, for the fact that it is your heart that brings you back into beingness. It is not your head. This is a storyteller. Tap into the infinite potentials that lie within you. Hello, beautiful Sharon. How are you? So I want you to share what it is that you're feeling right now. Just by having done this process, <clears throat> it's just been a couple of minutes, but I'd like for you to share how you feel right now. And then I'm going to put you through a very short guided meditation. But just notice how you feel. I want you to stay with that breath and I want you to share with me how you feel. Do you feel a whole lot more calm? Do you feel present? Do you feel centered? Do you feel a deeper sense of connection? I'm going to stay with the breath just for a couple more minutes. <clears throat> I know there's about a 30 second delay between you hearing me and me receiving your messages. So I'm just going to wait a moment. And I want you all to get yourself nice and comfortable because we're going to do a very short meditation where we're going to use the power of the breath that I just shared with you, but we're going to expand on it. <clears throat> Marina, calm and peaceful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I want you to all make yourself nice and comfortable. This is a very short process. This is a very short guided meditation so as to have you fully experience the power of this kind of alignment. 
we're going to be combining the two techniques that I just shared with you. So you make yourself nice and comfortable, place a hand on your heart center. I tend to find a hand is comfortable. You could do you know, a couple of fingers, but a hand is comfortable, it sits quite nicely. Or hands in position of prayer, pressed up against your heart center. Whatever is going to feel more comfortable for you. And I want you to simply close your eyes and begin to focus on your breath. To start with, just take a deep breath in and exhale. Just let go of any tension in the body. Just be here. There's nowhere else to be. There's nothing else to do other than just to be here. Now, this exercise is simple enough for you to do. If you're in the middle of making dinner, preparing dinner, doing things, you can actually still follow along with the breath. <clears throat> So I want you to just open your eyes, obviously. <laughs> Keep your eyes open if you're doing things. If you're, if you're able to sit quietly and comfortably, then I want you to close your eyes and just be in this moment. And now I want you to visualize a warm, glowing light at the center of your chest. Notice that beautiful, warm, healing light. I want you to feel this light expanding expanding and growing with each and every breath. Nice, slow, rhythmic breathing. Each and every breath relaxing you more and more as this beautiful light expands. And as it grows, it fills your entire chest cavity. Your entire chest cavity is filled with this amazing, warm, loving energy. Allow this energy to flow out from your chest, spreading to every part of your body now. All the way down to the toes, up to the crown of your head. A warm, loving, healing energy. And as you breathe in, I want you to imagine that you're drawing in this warm energy from the universe. And as you exhale, I want you to feel it expanding and radiating outwards from you, from your chest. Let this beautiful energy fill you. Let it fill you completely, bringing you a sense of joy, a sense of peace, a sense of calm, a sense of contentment. Now begin to see this amazing light expanding from you. Visualize yourself surrounded by this beautiful, loving, warm energy. So beautifully cocooned now in this warm and loving light. Feel it, be in it. And as you breathe in, I want you to imagine this energy expanding even further filling the entire space around you now. The entire space around you is filled with this amazing light. You are connected to the universe. You are connected to all things. One with the universe, one with everything. Each and every breath strengthening, strengthening this connection more and more. And just allow yourself to be. Be, bask in this warm, loving energy. Receive. Receive. Receive the alignment. Receive the healing. Receive the blessings, all of them. And just be. That's right. Expanding more and more with each and every breath. Just be. Just be as you feel even more expansive than you were before. Feel it pulsating throughout your entire being. <clears throat> Notice that pulsing sensation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Notice that pulsing sensation. Notice it filling you up with a sense of calm, contentment and love. 
You are one with everything. And when you're ready, I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in and bring back those sensations with you. So take that deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly opening your eyes, bringing back those sensations with you. Be in that space. Take a moment to notice how you feel. And carry this feeling, this sense of warmth and expansion with you. Because it is who you are. It's who you are all the time. It's just now in this moment you have more of an awareness of it. But imagine carrying this awareness with you all the time. So remember that you can return to this place, this space, this feeling of love, this feeling of warmth by simply closing your eyes, placing a hand on your heart center, focusing on your breath and your magnificent heart. So I want you to continue bathing in that beautiful space. If anybody would like to share, then I'll stay on for another moment. If anybody has any questions at all, please feel free to share. Otherwise, I'll be ending this call in a moment so that I can get ready for my 8 p.m. Power of You module, followed by a 10 p.m. coaching client. <laughs> okay, I wish for you all the most magnificent, magnificent evening. I wish for you all, all your heart desires and so much more. The veils are thinning, they're lifting, truths are being revealed. And this is all in the hope that you will remember how powerful you are. Because you are powerful beyond measure and now is your time to remember that. All right, everybody, much love to you all. Good night. I look forward to seeing you in two weeks. Um, happy Easter to those who celebrate Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you so much, Lily. Bye.